Hello guys. Oh, oh. Dang it. Well, there was our first snake of the day. I wanted to show you all the habitat first. There was a very large cotton mouth, but I'm sure that'll be one of many that we see tonight. So let's see what we can get into tonight, guys. And this right here, guys, is gonna be our first herp of the day. That is a Kishodon Piscoporus, a beautiful little cotton mouth, one of many that I am certainly sure we will see tonight. We let him get about his way. He is a venomous snake. For those who don't know, I'm sure most of you know what a cotton mouth is. But uh, we're gonna let this guy get on his way. Obviously, he's not out to get me, but uh, these guys get a bad rap. Really cool snake. Let him get about his way. Beautiful creature. Well, that is gonna be our second snake of the night. We're gonna let him get about his way. Like I said, we're gonna see a lot of those tonight. Another lovely little cotton mouth. Drew Sketty has joined us. It's been a long time since I've seen him on the channel. That is another one for us tonight. I'm gonna scoot out of his way. Let him bat his way. Another lovely little cotton mouth. I mean, that's our first pass, and we've seen three of these guys. That's a beautiful species. Yeah. There's our next species of the night. It's a giant Nerodia rhombifier. Big one. Giant diamondback water snake. She is not quick to sit still for pictures. That is a beautiful snake right there. We're going to let her get some pictures of her and let her on her way. That is another species for the night, guys. That is a... Oh, very angry. Somebody give me some light. Very angry. Plain bellied water snake that's not cooperating. But he's a pretty snake. And uh, he has not managed to bite me yet, so I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to let him uh, get on out of here. He stinks. Mm -hmm. See, he, he's more liable to chase you than a cotton mouth. Out of here. There's another species for the night, guys. That is a little North American toad. Little handsome guy. Hopping along the road. There, guys, is the first one I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure that is a Bantam sunfish that Drew dropped. That is okay because fish are resilient. That is crazy. That is my first one I've ever seen. Thank you, Drew, for showing me that. There is another snake of the night, guys. Once again, another big, that's actually a big juicy cottonmouth. A beautiful one, too. No, uh, he's gonna get about his way, cruise on down the road. Beautiful snake. I love these guys. See more of these than about any other venomous snake around. And I just don't ever get tired of them. I get tired of how they smell though. The baby cottonmouth for tonight, Acutridon Piscivorus. Watch him. Then right over here we have another one. There is no end to these guys out here tonight. You gotta watch your step out here. <coughs> That's gonna be our first snake of the day, guys. As you seen from last night's video, we saw, we saw plenty of these guys. This guy's just beautiful compared to the others. We're up in the Washita Mountains, and uh, I don't see a drop of water in sight. But uh, this guy's up here just thriving. He's real yellow, real pretty guy, real pretty guy. He's not terribly big. He's no. not aggressive. No, he's real chill. We'll let him get about his way. Video whenever. That's all I There's our next herp of the day, guys. Hey, beautiful, beautiful timber rattlesnake who's out here basking. He is fired up for us. What a beautiful snake. Our first timber of the day. First timber of the day. That's my first timber I've ever herped. No, we went to magazines. Y'all, y'all knew where those were. This oh. is my first one I've ever herped. Milestone. That's a good picture right there. He's puffy. Well, there's the timber rattlesnake we just found, guys. And then Taylor pointed out something right over here. I was wondering why that snake is so pretty. There's his fresh shed. That thing is wet, and that is about the right size. That is Start what it's up. Like, uh, here, I'll do this video. While, <coughs> while I'm out here getting this coach whip out of this log. Oh, oh I wasn't trying to do that. He got a hold of that phone. I did. Like, he tugged on it so hard. While I was getting this coach whip out of this uh, log, Dakota here found a western diamondback right down the ridge. And this makes the uh, third snake of the day, fourth snake of the day. Fourth snake of the day. First non-venomous snake first is an eastern coach whip. Beautiful guy. He's about four foot long. He's got some rough shed from this log extraction. He's not damaged, though. He's got some beautiful red colors underneath, underneath it shed. 
but he should be coming out of this in the next week or so. But that makes the first non-venomous, <coughs> and to be the first non-venomous, it's a doozy. That's a doozy. Today's been a doozy. <coughs> Best herp day of the year so far. For sure. What do we got? We got a cottonmouth, a timber, and a western diamondback. And a coach whip. And a coach whip. Arkansas black mamba. Basically, yeah. Except you want non-venomous. Except non-venomous. You want to put her back in her log? Send her back on her way. There's that hole and she'll... She can't see. No, she you gotta get that. Oh, there she goes. She's trying. Yep. Back home. Back home. Whew. That was both terrible class. <laughs> <laughs> Not a herp, guys, but this is a little Texas brown tarantula. Just got done molting. He's got rubber legs. Very pretty guy. Very pretty male. Out on the move. Didn't have to flip him. Mr. Christenberry actually is the one who found it. <laughs> Anyways, beautiful little trench there. I'll get back on it. There's our next snake of the day, guys. A giant Arkansas Western Diamondback. Oh, Crotalus Atrox. This is my first ever in a monster. Oh, my goodness. That's what we came out here for today, guys. That is sweet. She's very mad. Deep in shed, so that doesn't make it better. But... Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It was an insane herping trip with great friends. We went all over the state. We went from north to central to south to all over the place and it was totally worth it. We found new species, we found old species, new, st new stomping grounds, old stomping grounds. It was great. Like I said, if you liked the video today, like and subscribe. Get ready for more herping videos coming up for next time.